Alright, this will be a bit of an interesting stream here. Ah, 20 gigs to work with. Yeah, yeah, let's put that up on the other side there. Alright. I don't think this will take that much space as well, but hey, when it ends, when it ends, I can then get it on the VODs and move on. But today we're going to be doing a bit of an interesting stream in the sense of... It is just going to be covering... There we go. We'll have chat in the way. I'll put chat on the on the other side here for today. But this is going to be covering the loot table behind the Daisy server. Now, I don't know if this is the right file that the Daisy server we're actively on is, but I'm going to treat it as such. Um... And if it isn't, then, you know, we'll override it. But I have noticed a few interesting anomalies that I have kind of matched to this document. But regardless, we're going to... Uh, this will be good practice either way. So, for those that don't know, in the background, we've been doing a lot of Daisy stuff recently. I've been taking a bit more of an active step in managing that server. And... Uh, we've already started on some events. Yes, I'm watching some, uh, we're listening to some Mass Effect music with this, because I thought, why not? It's been a while since I've listened to a good Mass Effect playlist. But we're going to basically be going over the Namal's Daisy server here, and, uh, going through everything. The other tabs in here have to do with, uh, JSON files that are the merchants. I messed with that weeks ago. Now we're getting into this, and I decided, for this one, I might as well stream it and show you guys how all this stuff works. Also, Ranger, welcome. Again, this will be a bit more of a, a boring one. We're not going to be really gaming. I'm just trying to show some of the background here. So, as you can see, we have a weapon type right here. And it's our AK-74, what you can find on the server. You've got nominal, lifetime, restock, min, quantity min, quantity max. You know, a good question to ask is what those three tabs are for. Give me one moment. I don't think those matter in the sense of, yeah, what we're doing here. Okay, yeah, 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 I know what they are. So basically to explain how all of these works is your nominal, this is the number that'll be on the server, lifetime, how long they last, how long before uh, restock, how long before it's automatically restocked. These times are in minutes. So that's about 30 hours, if I recall correctly, so a little over a day. The minimum amount that'll be on the server, quantity min, quantity max, keep those at negative one because it doesn't really matter to me. Because, um, you know, Daisy's all about a loot pool in itself. Cost, don't worry about that, keep that at 100. Flags, uh, these little nominals represent. Uh, Actually, I should just call it a different term because we don't want to confuse it with nominal there. These different terms represent uh, where. They are basically allowed to be counted on the nominal side. So, count in map means, you know, on the floor, lootable. Count in hoarder, I actually don't know what that one means. Count in cargo means in someone's inventory crates. Count in player means if they're crafted, uh, in their hands. Crafted means if it's made. And delute, again, I actually don't know what that means. And then usage, we have tiers. Uh, I'll be going over the tiers on the mall skin a bit. And then... I think that's the category of weapon, which doesn't matter. And then the tag is uh, military, basically, you know, military, civilian, hunting, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we can reference all of that information on, on iSurvive, actually. So if I were to pull up a link on that and then go over to Namalsk, make sure it's the... Steam Workshop Namalsk and not the Daisy Mod Namalsk because that's the Arma 2 versus the Arma 3 map. There we go. So if I were to pull this over here and show you guys, um, all these different tags, you know, these are the uh, tags we're looking for on that specific category. And then the loot tiers themselves are also able to be spotted on that regard. So if you go to filter, Loot tier overlay, you get all of this goody stuff. So you can see basically where tier 1 is, tier 2, tier 3, and then 4. You get a little bit of a taste of in uh, the top left, top right of the map. 
Lantia has two separate tiers noted as tier six and tier seven. Tier five is a three, which you can only get to by teleporting. It's uh, marked as these little military zones there. And then tier four also has two, excuse me, three uh, extra spots here, which, oh, they actually do reflect on the map. Uh, it is the crashed plane right there. And then you also have the two uh, crashed helicopters, one over here and one over there. I think they updated because you didn't used to, you weren't able to find these uh, wrecks previously. So that's good to note. But otherwise, that's uh, those are the tiers we will be referencing for this stream. Uh, and then I'm not sure if... Um, the one thing that I know we're missing on this uh, loot pool here is the expansion weapons, which I am willing to bet are in the expansion mod themselves. So that's fine. Regardless, we're going to start going over everything. Well, Salvi, it, eh, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm just going to turn my music down slightly one second. You know, I like it to be loud and imposing, but that's a little too loud for me. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to basically go over everything here. Yeah, Ghost Wolf, exactly. So I'm, um, I want to combine them all under one XML and just stack them all together. I was actually hoping I'd run into you. Uh, for rebuilding everything. Uh, there's the XML and the mod folders and the expansion CE. That's what I figured it was in the uh, the mod folders themselves. But I appreciate you uh, reaching out, buddy. I hope everything's okay with you as well, man. Um, change the category, otherwise it will not spawn right. Because I noticed for some weapons, uh, as I was looking at this... The category, if I can find an M4, for example, because I noticed that was under... Here, it'll be easier if we just do that. Uh, the category has to be Lantia itself. When you set it to Tier 6 and Tier 7, it also has to be uh, tagged as military. Because that is its own little thing. But yeah, no, I've been uh, trying to study up on that. But I'm thinking of just trying to combine everything under one XML file to make it easier. But, anyway, let's go ahead and rewrite everything, shall we? So, chat, I'll also let you uh, help me out here as to I want to, uh, you know, make this the best I can. Ghost Wolf, if you have any ideas as well, feel free to bring them forward. Um, but, yeah, no, this mainly came up because of the uh, the fact we weren't able to find <laughs> any Mosins here. But, all right, AK-74. So, an AK-74 is your standard 545 AK. Right now, the nominal is set to 1. I want to get that changed a bit. Right now, you can only find it in Tier 4 zones. You know... If you do, that will make the XML file extremely long. Yes, I, I know, Ghost Wolf, but that'll also mean everything will be searchable under one XML. And then, I mean, this XML is already 12,000 lines, and it already has everything in the base game. So I feel like it would be easier to do instead of just going through mods. But I also know people have their own ways of doing things, but, um, yeah, you know, say la vie. So is this for like a pay for pain help uh, or like a normal help help? Uh, a normal help help, Salvi, good God. But Ghost Wolf, I also value your, um, your criticism here. All right, AK-74 is like, the one gun I think that only needs to have one nominal ever is the freaking Goss Rifle. But I'm debating about where to put it. But we'll get there when we get there. I mean, that one also would have its own XML file as well. So, let's see. An AK-74. I mean, compared to the 74U, I feel like that one is okay. It's in Tier 3, which means it's in Southern Military Zones. Uh, findable anywhere on those airdrops as well, or the uh, prison island down here. Basically, the yellow. Okay, refugee camps also Tier 1. That position's Tier 2. Those areas are Tier 2 hunting. 
Wow, okay, all those northern military zones are tier one as well. That's good to know. That's good to know. And then central areas there are tier one. Refugee camp there is the cusp of tier two. BK-212 is tier two. Interesting. Athena, okay, no, Athena 2 is uh, tier 3, and then the basement, uh, not the basement, the armory floor on the fourth floor is tier 4. And then those areas are tier 3. And Athena Research is tier 3, including the bunker area. Yeah, so there's a helipad. Um,. That helipad area, but also areas on the roof, that's also tier 4. I keep forgetting that that's a tier 4 spawn point as well. And then those are tier 3, but that's tier 2. All right. Interesting. Goss has its own X amount. Yeah, I figured. All right. But yeah, no, let's let's go back to the map. I'll, I'll break it down real quick. Green is tier 1. Blue is tier 2. Yellow is tier 3. Red is tier 4. Tier 5 is uh, Athena 3, which you can only get to by teleporting. Uh, tier 5 is... Um, nah, I just said Tier 5. Tier 6 is the area immediately around the Lantian portal. And then Tier 7 is Lantia itself. I don't know if it's spelled, if you call it Lantia or Lantia. I've heard both pronunciations, so it's tough to tell. But anyway, let's go ahead. 74, so tier 4, which means you can only find it in top left, top right, certain areas. I kind of like that. Let's do a 2 on the nominal. And all of the spawn times are fine. Because you have to consider, since we're also going to be adding like Tactical Flava to this, there's going to be a big variation on guns. Um, the one concern I do have is not a lot of guns fire 545 ammo. So... It's a difficult thing to consider with all that, you know, balancing ammo types and whatnot. I know, for example, a big problem on the server right now is there's so many people with 7.62x54 ammo, but there's not a lot of 7.62x54 guns because the only two that really chamber that in is the SVD and the Mosin. And no one can find a freaking Mosin right now, and people are finding SVDs out of loot drops or um, airdrops and farming A3. That's the toughest thing here. Where else are you supposed to store your power armor batteries and Goss rifles but the chicken coop? Good God, guys. All right. So I think just having two on the map is good, but for uh, AKS 7-4Us, I'm going to bump that up to five. And uh, looting in Tier 3 areas, I'm half tempted to add them to Tier 2 as well. Because that would basically be anywhere that's blue or yellow. And having five of them in the pool, I feel like, is a decent idea. We'll see some other submachine guns and whatnot. And again, this is all subject to change. This is all just, you know, testing the waters and whatnot. But I think this is all pretty fine for what it is. I'll take a sip. Also, I didn't realize uh, prison was tier three. I thought it was tier two, but hey, that's why we check logs like these, you know. So let's um, let's stick with five for now, and we'll see how that goes. AK one hundred one, the god awful five five six AK. I'm gonna be honest, because of how rare M fours are, but how common five five six ammo is, especially if you farm zombies. I'm gonna bump that up to four, and I'm gonna be a jerk. I'm going to put it in Tier 3, actually. And here's my logic for that. The AK-101 is... Let's be honest. If you play DayZ, where have you ever found an AK-101? Uh, the airfield's Tier 1, but this is because this is... Um, this is Namalsk's airfield. If you go to a map like Chinaris, then yeah, it's going to be the toughest. Uh, if you go to the top left part of the map, that's uh, the second highest loot table. But nah. Namalsk is, uh, it's airfield's only tier one loot. But I'm going to stick that at four, and I'm going to put it in tier three, and we'll see what happens. And I want to keep the minimum quantities on one for now, and if I need to adjust, we'll need to adjust. AKM. I'm going to bump that up to five. I feel like AKM should be incredibly more common, because when you also think of Namalsk, it's... Uh, when you think of the factions behind Namalsk, 
NAC, it's really unknown, but if you play the campaigns, the NAC have a mix of Eastern and Western rifles. The Russian military that assaulted everything had, you know, Russian-backed weaponry, obviously. And then NATO never really did anything, but Tier 4 areas include Task Force Bering and SCAT, which was a Russian submarine, admittedly, so you gotta mix that up, but... Considering where the loot is, I'm trying to talk myself into seeing if I need to move uh, AKMs out of Tier 3. But I think, again, for... I mean, you got the military outpost down here. You got these mountaintops with uh, the downed helicopters there around these positions. I think AKMs around there is fine. And then Athena... Yeah. And then up there as well. And then also you've got the, uh, you know, Phoenix position in terms of all of Tier 3. So I think uh, Tier 3, AKMs, 5 on the server, I feel like that's good. Um, and now anyone that's looked at, like, a Chernaris, uh XML file and comparing it to Namalsk, I remember Chernaris is, like, five times the size of Namalsk in terms of lootable areas, so you have to keep these numbers smaller. I have no idea what a B-95 is. So I'm going to quickly look that up. Oh, that's the Blaze. So that one, I mean, what are, what are we at right now for that? That's tier in three, two and three. Hmm. I'm going to change this up a little bit. Everything that's like a civilian or a hunting gun, I'm actually going to move to just tier one and two. Uh, the one concern I have is that when you have these yellow areas here, it's also going to include the deer stands. But I don't think, just looking at the map right now, I don't see any hunting stands that are inside a Tier 3 zone. You know what I mean? You got a Tier 3 crash site right there, but I do not see... Yeah, any hunting stands in Tier 3. So it's only going to be Tier 1 and 2 for those hunting areas. So that's just going to help compare it with the drop pool. NAC was a joint NATO CSTO task force and was assaulted back by Hillbilly Baltic Serbian death cult with mixed weaponry. Oh, man. Blaze 95 degrees. Good golly G Willikers, guys. So I'm going to put the blaze in. Yeah, I'm going to basically put civilian loot in tier one and tier two. I'm putting three on the map total because there's a few other uh, weapons that fire when uh, freaking whatchamacallit uh, 308. So let me quickly look at what you are. The CZ-61. Is the Scorpion which uses 380. That, I think you should only be able to find in Tier 1 and 2, to be honest. I'm going to bump it to 2, because, again, the um, when you look at Tier 1 military areas, that's all mainly in the north. But if I put it on Tier 2, that's actually going to be a lot of extra stuff. And do you want to really find a scorpion to the south? Considering 380, you're only going to be able to find to the north? No, we're going to keep that. We're actually going to keep that in Tier 1 at that point. Uh, I'm gonna put five down. Now we're gonna do four. Again, considering that it's all of these northern military positions here, from basically the airfield, the dam, and then, you know, these three spots, I think four maximum will be fine, because there's gonna be other, you know, civilian guns that are gonna be lootable as well. Don't know why I just clicked there. So, uh, skipping that, the PP-19, which I know I find magazines for in Tier 3 positions. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that to 5. Because that also fires 9mm, and 9mm is pretty common everywhere. CZ-527. If I remember correctly, that's a hunting rifle, but let me check that real quick. Yes. 
Let me quickly look at the Daisy link, just uh, make sure it's chambered in 308. Nope, that's 762 by 39. You know, real quick, one other thing. Brensk is still tier one, right? Yeah, Brensk is tier one. So there's no tier two civilian areas. Well, with the exception of up here, but I think that's more into... Oh, no, no, you have a few container crates um, that have civilian tags. So, yeah, and then you got tier three civilian loot in there as well. But, I mean, again, when you're thinking, like, civilian hunting rifles and whatnot. Oh, man, this is the tough call when it comes to balancing, you know? All right, if that's the case. Let's put five down for now. My one fear is if I put too much stuff on the civilian loot table, it'll start drowning out the amount of food you can find. So with that in mind, I'm going to... The B95 is fine. That's fine, because you're police and military. Are you listed as... Okay, you're only listed as uh, hunting, not civilian. So that's fine. If they're listed as civilian, then I gotta be careful. Uh, like that weapon, for example. The B95 listed as civilian. Interesting. That's not... I'm going to fix that. That should be listed as civilian. Because if the Blaze is listed as civilian, then why isn't the 7.62x39 weapon listed as civilian? So, let's see. CZ550. No. No, it's the 527. So, let's go ahead and add that tag into there. I believe the 550 is... Um, Hey, Slashy. I believe that's the 5 or 10 round. I'm trying to remember if this is the... Um... No, okay, so this is the other 5-5... Five, five, um, excuse me. Dinama jig. Uh, tier... We're going to make it tier 1 and 2 because of how... That works, and I'm also going to give it a civilian tag as well. That was the wrong thing. Meaning it can spawn in houses. Foul, one in tier five. I'm totally okay with it. Uh, the foul staying in um, A3. Because that weapon is... Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a freaking foul. Now, after I look at TF, I might lower it to Tier 4, depending on things. But I know for the YesVD, I'm going to shrink down to Tier 4. Because the other types of marksman rifles that are going to be added with TF and potentially any other weapon mods that come in, uh, those need to basically stay where they are at that point. All right, the IZH, if I remember correctly, that's a civilian shotgun. I just want to look at the, the name of it real quick. That's the BK-18, which is a single-shot shotgun. I'm going to bump that up to five. M4A1. See, this is what's crazy about the freaking... M4A1. You can only find it in the dead of Lantia. Yet, you can find it in an airdrop, a military airdrop, rather easily. So, I'm going to shrink this down to, uh... I'm debating shrinking it down to Tier 4, in all honesty. But, I mean... You have the M16A2, which you can find... In there, so... I think for now, I'm going to stick it in Tier 5. I'm going to take it out of Lantia. Uh, I'm going to put it under Category Rifles instead. Because the M4A1 is the one you can trick out. 
Uh, but the M16A2, and again, I'll keep one if it's going to be in Tier 5, because that means it's going to be uh, only one spawning in A3, which is okay to, on my book. Uh, M16A2, I'm perfectly fine with that staying Tier 3, Tier 4. I'm only giving it three, though. Because again, 5.56, five, I want that to be a little harder to find here. Oh my god, the M79. I'll allow two to be found on the map at once. And then I need a tier list for it. Now, I'm going to make a mental note to myself to make sure I check this again, because I'm not sure if the M79 is double set in the expansions mod, uh, or the expansion uh, XML file, but, you know, we'll have to take a look. I'm thinking here... Oh, hold on. That would be in there. Expansion M79 is disabled. All right, so it is this one. Well, Broadshore, that's because you're looking at your other monitor and not my stream. So please don't talk about what may or may not be on your computer. Broski? Only one FAMAS. I'm going to do three FAMASs, and I'm going to put them in Tier 3 and Tier 4. Og Short. We'll do two... And I'm only putting them in tier three because the real AUG, which the AUG short can only take that one specific type of mag. Regular AUG can take any 5.56 five, mag. Um, Give it to... Why is it in Lantia? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Um... Put that in tier four. Yeah, so this is why no one can find a freaking Mosin. It's because only one exists on the server at a time. And you can only find it in civilian areas or hunting areas. I'm also debating giving it a military tag, but I'm worried that'll bloat the... Hold on, because uh, another thing I want to know is what are... What are those towers considered? These... So they're considered military towers because they're red. Okay. We're going to do eight, and I'm also going to tag it as military. I'm tagging as tier one, two, and three. Mm. We're not putting in tier three. I'm doing tier one and two. MP5. I mean, comparing the MP5 to the MPX, the MPX should always be, like, a tier above an MP5 because it's literally a better MP5. God, I can't wait to see how many MP5 magazines, though, in the expansion table exist because I'm going to, like, flip my shit. Because <laughs> I would say the one thing I find more of than anything else... Especially when you go to the Southern Trader on the DayZ server. The one thing that will always be much more in stock than everything else is that goddamn MPX magazine. <laughs> There's so freaking many! There's so many! Alright, MP5. I'm gonna do Tier 2 and Tier 3. Um, no, we're gonna do Tier 1 and Tier 2. 
That way, for the MPX, I can put that in Tier 2 and Tier 3. Uh, 357 repeater. I'm going to do three of those. Uh, only in Tier 1 and Tier 2, but that's only listed as civilian tag. So putting it in Tier 3 is pointless because there's no civilian Tier 3. Well, no, there's some at the cargo post, but at that point, you don't really want to find a repeater. So we're going to do that. The Ruger, oh my gosh. Um, we'll do four. And I only want that in Tier 1 and Tier 2 under civilian. Uh, I don't want to find that in hunting. Because we're in a place where wolves and bears exist. I don't think you can really use a Ruger for hunting. You can use it for home defense. Not really hunting. I'm also making sure that the count and cargo and player are set to zero. Everything's only set to count and map. Because then you're never going to see some of this shit spawn with all the stuff we've been finding in people's bases. SKS is... I mean, again, this should be... That should be a lot more common. One and two military-based rifles. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. SVD. This is where I'm going to make a pretty big change. I'm putting that in Tier 4. Because I feel like as a marksman rifle, especially since we're going to be adding weapons like the AWN, the AWN should be Tier 5. And it should take the marksman rifle's position of the SVD. So the SVD can be bumped down to Tier 4, and the AWM can be Tier 5. And yes, there are AS valves on the server. We'll get to them soon. UMP45, I'm going to honestly say Tier 1 and Tier 2. Because, again, it's, it's a 45 ACP submachine gun. Not the best thing in the world. VSS, here we go. Three and four. Also, UMP5, I'm going to bump the count up. What what did I set the MP5 at? We're going to match the MP5. I only put two down? Yeah, no, screw that. We're going to put that up to three. And we're going to put the UMP up to three. SVDs? Because of the commonness of the freaking 5.4 uh, five, ammo, I'm going to bump that up to two, actually. Uh, what did I put the Scorpion at in terms of count? I put it up to four. Yeah, that's fine. I'm debating putting it up to three. Also, tier 11. Whoop, whoop. That's why I checked my work. I think because I meant to put it in tier two as well. Yeah, I'll keep that on four. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. The scars are going to be really interesting to balance because... I mean... Yeah... It's, how do I put it? Since we're keeping a foul in uh, in A3, it's going to be really curious because I got to see all the other options we have with uh, 308 before I decide to uh, balance things up. Is this up for an upcoming DayZ up? No, it's just for the server that we're doing a lot of work on. Also, fun fact, uh, we put up 16 new sound bites. Uh, those are going to be in the rotation uh, tonight or tomorrow, depending on when we play the game again. But all right, back to here, VSS. I'm going to put three on the server. No, we're going to put two on the server. AS Val, I'm also going to put two on the server. At most. Minimum one, at most two. VSS, I'm going to drop that to tier three. AS Val, going to be tier four. Winchester. Doing three of you. And we're going up to Tier 1 and 2 because there's no civilian looting areas in Tier 3. Well, the Val was already Tier 4. So, nothing changed there. IZH Shotgun. Uh, no, we're going to put 4 on there. I just got to remember the sawed-off ones there. We're going to do Tier 1 and 2 for that. Because I want a few. I don't want the 100 Tower to have everything good there. Um, why are you listed twice? 
Oh, it's the 18. What's the difference between the 18 and the 43? I think one's single barrel and one's double barrel, right? That was the wrong tab to open. Wait, is the ICH 18 listed twice? Because I thought we already edited one. That's weird. Because the ICH 18 is the uh, single shot one. And then the double barrel is... Uh... Here, if that's the case... I'm going to put one less than that one. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep the single barrel on tier one as well. MP443 civilian shotgun. We'll put... I'll put only two of those on the map at a time. Because that's a pump action. Meant to be a bit more rare. Uh, rifles, it doesn't... I don't see a tier value on it. Which is why it's not in the drop table. Because there's no tier value on it. Uh, we're going to put that under Tier 1 and Tier 2. Uh, well, yeah, no, civilian, that's fine. Saiga. I'm going to put that under 2 and 3. Because the Saiga, what, what makes the difference for the Saiga is being able to find the drum magazines. The drum magazines, I'm only going to want you to find in, like, Tier 4. Um, if the loot pool for Tier 4 gets a little too bloated, though, I'll bump them down to Tier 3. But a drum magazine Saiga is probably one of the most lethal CQC weapons I've ever worked with in DayZ. Because that thing will go nuts. If it doesn't have a tier value, it means it spawns everywhere that has that category tag. Oh. Neat. I can see that being really useful in some instances. Huh. Well, thank you, Ghost Wolf. I appreciate that. Didn't know that. Ah, the scout. So if that's the case, again, I'm not going to give it a tier value. I'm just going to put 43 scout rifles down. Good God. Uh, we're going to put three scout rifles down. The SSG-82, I think that one is the new, one of the newer uh, 308 rifles. But that's the one with either a 5 or 10 round magazine. <coughs> yeah, bolt action with detachable magazine. Oh, it shoots 545. Yeah, so if that's the case... Again, something that fires 545 is great. Um, that's also a port lease rifle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that a three as well. Screw it. Okay. Now I'm gonna be honest. Where I've, um, I'm gonna be looking at handguns here. I'm kind of happy with. Happy with the 1911 being that way. Happy with the engraved one being that way. Uh, CZ-75, let's bump that up to, like, six. Now nah, we'll do five. Uh, the 1911 spawning in any civilian position. This one engraved cult existing, I'm okay with that, too. Yeah, no, I, I am making the freaking gold deagle more rare. It's weird, though, because there's only one that exists. So it's as rare as can be. And it literally has no tears, so it spawns only in civilian, man. It's that's crazy. I'll bump the amount of deagles that can spawn. CZ-75 I'll bump up. I want to put that in... That's in any police position that can spawn. And you got to remember, those green little... Uh, Guard boosts are police. So that's all fine. I'm going to bump the amount of Colts up to three. Uh, 
I I don't know what to tell you, man. They just they just come back quick. Yeah, flare guns at ten. We're gonna. I'm gonna lower that to five because. Ah, we're gonna do four, and the reason is no one really uses flare guns in this game. But yeah, they're they're usually found on the fishing boats, which is why. F and X, we're gonna bump that to six. I'm gonna list that as tiers one, two, three, and four. I could have sworn there was another thing that was listed as tiers two, three, and four. Uh, that's the engraved 1911. I'll keep that at two, three, four then. It's just the flares that are harder to find. Yeah, fine. I mean, it's listed as a fishing spawn point too, and there's a lot of boats, so we'll keep that at ten. Just I want to make the flare ammo more common. Ah, uh, let's see. The FNX, though, I'm taking that off of Tier 4. Glock. Bump that up to 5. 2 and 3, I'm fine with. The Magnum. I'm actually fine with the amount of Magnums that spawn. Mark 2, 10. Perfectly happy with that. The Makarov IJ, perfectly happy with that. There, you can find one. P1, perfectly happy with that. Lawnhorn, I've found a few. Perfectly happy with that. The Duraners, I think I'm fine with. Two each category is fine because that makes for six spawning total. Hand grenades can spawn on any military position. At any tier. Which... Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to bump smoke grenades down to four max. And my reasoning for that is there's just a lot. Ah, uh, Russian smoke grenades I'll keep high, though, because... Again, that's more common. Flash grenades at six, I'm fine with. Landmines. I'm gonna be honest here. They only spawn in tier four, which I already knew, but tier four, it's, how do I put this? Every time I have gone to a tier four location, I usually find anywhere from two to four landmines. Um, I'm keeping landmines. Because I like them, but I'm going to lower them by half. I'm going to make them more rare. And again, the reason is, if you go to a Tier 4 location, you will find two or three of them. It's just, I literally have, I want to say, 50 in my base. Because of just the sheer amount I've been looting. So landmines I'm turning down because they're just so common. 40 millimeter explosive at Tier 4... I'm going to change that to Tier 3 and 4 and increase it to 5 because I changed the M76 to spawn at Tier 4 as well. Um, so we're going to bump that slightly. Where do you spawn? Lanti, I'm assuming? Yeah, the freaking chem gas grenade. Um... <laughs> it's rare! But I want a little more chaos with it. So I'm gonna put that bad boy under weapons. Uh, smoke grenades I think are fine because it doesn't spawn in any tier. Uh, I'm gonna turn it down to four though. Because there's a lot of smoke grenades that can spawn. You know, same with the other factor there. Plus, the smoke grenades you can sell for a decent amount of money, too. Claymore mines. I'm going to be honest, I'm actually happy with that number. Based off of the amount I found. And they only spawn in Tier 3 and Tier 4. I think that's fair. And then you got your common things like wood axes here, hatchets.
This one I am going to change, though, uh, under here. Because I'm getting annoyed with the fact that I've been finding a lot of fire axes in Tier 4 areas. So... Eh, no, when I think about it, I actually think that's by design. Never mind, yeah. No, we're gonna we're gonna keep that as is. Yes! No, I, I know that ghost wolf. I know that. I was thinking that as I was going through this stuff, but yeah, some of the expansion weaponry doesn't work uh with that. I remember that being an issue in the beginning, uh, but they were still spawning in. But thank you for reminding me, bro. And again, I hope everything's going okay with you, man. If you ever need someone to talk to, let me know. <laughs> landmines everywhere! <laughs> with a few strokes of my keyboard, I can set landmines to be 20 nominal, and they spawn in households! Here's the issue. If no one picks up the landmine in a while, the landmine just self-places itself. Which means if someone doesn't check a house for a few days, and there's a landmine that spawns in the house, guess where the landmine gets put for 45 days? <laughs> That'll be a great event. Oh my god. Liru's accidentally made a mistake in the XML file and put two zeros and somehow changed the military tag to civilian. He was able to fix it, but not before the server restarted and loot cycled on the server at least once. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> that would just piss everyone off. Oh, my God. So, uh, Ghost Wolf, I have one more question if you're still around. How do you activate, if you're going to put the XML uh, or use the XML files from every other mod, how do you activate them? Or is the XML file for the Tactical Flava mod, everything just set to zero on nominal? Landmine is not persistent, so the place landmine will be Kleenexed by the restart. Ghost Wolf, I'm not sure about that because one of my buddies put a landmine in A2 and then the server restarted and then another buddy of mine stepped on it the next day. So I'm not entirely sure about that one. And this happened uh, today and the landmine was placed yesterday and I still want to strangle Blackheart for that. <laughs> Now, looking at all the ammo types, I think... I'm going to be honest, I think I'm fine with uh, the amount of ammo that spawns. That got fixed a while ago. The one type of ammo I do want to take a look at, though, is the uh, K98 ammo. But that's going to be under uh, expansion. Handcuff time, yeah, right? Well, no, so what I want to do with the Goss Rifle components is... I want to take the parts of the Goss Rifle... And I want to spawn them in the main areas. Because that's how they used to be set. Uh, so ammo, the scope, and the magazines, I want to spawn them between Tier 4 and Tier 5 locations. And then the Goss Rifle, I want to still have spawn in Lantia itself. Um, as a Tier 6 or Tier 7 spawn. But all the parts and components for it, everything off there. And anything can set a landmine off that moves. But yeah, I mean... Oh, Slushy, this is why you can't find flare ammo. I'm going to put that to... Uh, since we have 10 guns out, I'm going to put 10 on it as well. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, minimum, I'm going to say 2 at least. That's funny. Ammo box spawning ratios, I think, are fine. Angry noises. <laughs> but 
But yeah, I think everything else in here is fine. And then it's going to go into magazine counts. Uh, I'm trying to think here. I think magazine spawn rates are fine. I'm going to play more on the server this week and possibly adjust it. Scouts are fine. Because, again, you got to know where to look for this stuff. AKM mag spawn between tier 2 and tier 4. Okay, this is what I want to change, though. Um, there are some specific higher tier mags that I do want to move around. Um, if I'm going to bump them, um, then we're going to have to bump everything associated with the tier. No, those are harder to find. That being six is okay, though. PP19, 64 round. I'm going to bump that. But if I'm going to do category, can I set multiple categories is my question. Then again, I also don't want to bloot the Lantean drop table. So instead, what we're going to do is I'm just going to make it tier five. Which, no, 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 uh, weapons, and then tier five that. And if that's the case, we're only going to do one. And I'm going to lower that again because there's different types of AKM mags. Yeah, that's all it's going to be in Lantia. Yeah, I'm going to also put that. Under weapons. Uh, the 20. Let's have those be two and three. And then two and three for those as well. Because what, um, these spawn in four and five. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that, okay. Okay. Thank you for letting me know, Ghost Wolf. So you can't, based off of how they've set Lanty as a category, I mean, if we just look, actually, we can confirm that. Because if you go over to a Lantian spawn point, you have industrial, all of that as Lantia itself. Now, there would be a way to get around that if you were to take the map editor mod and add some weapon, uh, certain category types of spawn points to certain areas. That's how you can get around an issue like that. But that is well ahead of our timeline right now. But me thinking with what I already know, there are always ways around things. Bump that up to three. Four or five, and that's going to be a rare weapon drop. Uh, FAMAS mag. Because of how niche these mags are, I'm going to make them also spawn in tier three. AK-101 is its own type of gun, so I'm going to increase the spawn rate of them. Uh, that should be fine.
Yeah, Green Mountain, it's a lot of Googling, admittedly, to learn it yourself. I'm not sure if there's any variation on 74 mags. I'm actually going to bump that up to 4. Uh, tier 3 and 4 is fine. We're doing Tier 4 and 5 for the 45 round mags as well. Now, if we're bumping the SVD, I'm actually going to make this... Um, Tier 3, 4, 5. Fal is going to stay in Tier 4 and 5, though. Perfectly happy with where that one is. I'm... Yeah, no, we're going to keep it that way. UMP mags, I'm going to bump. VSS mags... Actually, I'm fine with the VSS and the AS Val mags. And where they are right now. They're meant to still be rare. Saiga is where I'm going to be changing things up. Uh, tier 2 and 3 for the 5 round mags. I'm going to bump that up to 4. The 8 round mags is where I'm going to be bumping that up to 2, 3, 4. Actually, you know, we'll have that going there as well. I'll bump that up to 4. Yeah, 2 mags minimum. And then the Saiga drum mag. I'm having that spawn in 4 and 5. And then bayonets. People use them. They're rare, but they're used. And I'm happy with these numbers here. I'm going to bump that to five, though. I'm going to have that match the Mosin. Oh, boy. Suppressors. I'm going to make this easier. Because I'm taking things out of the Lantian spawn pool to put other things in the pool, but I'm I'm still making them extremely difficult to get. And then pistol suppressors has been fine. But if you want those, that's what we're doing. Uh, Nacon, you shouldn't have been able to find a 60-round Stenag Mag, because according to this, they were only set to spawn in, uh, Lantia. So, I mean, it was even set as a different class outright, so it shouldn't be spawning in the normal pool. I just changed it, though, um, to Tier 5 to make it easier. Ah, yes, if you did find one, it was attached to a gun then, because guns can change into anything. For a text editor to edit XML, I would suggest VS Code to edit them. All right, Ghost Wolf, I'll take a look at it. Sixty rounders could also be found in airdrops, you're right. That's another thing we're going to have to look at, though, are those airdrops. But again, down the road, this is literally a process that's going to take us like two months to convert this server as we roll out changes, see how they fare, and then, you know, roll things forward and back as need be. And we've already been at this for an hour. It does not feel like an hour, but look at the progress. Ah! I think clothing-wise, everything's balanced, though. Since Cloud was taken out, scopes are fine. Yeah, PSO sites are really rare as well, but they can spawn in any weapon category, which is A-OK -okay in my book. And then you've got your food, which combined with the cheese spawns and the bread spawns, I think is perfectly fine. Medical, I think, is also fine at the moment. Uh, especially now that Cloud has been taken out and Cloud won't spawn in the medical category of those medical airdrops. I think medical is going to be fine because it's meant to be difficult. Now, I'm going to level with you. I think gas masks spawn way too often. I honest to God think they spawn way too damn often because you only, we don't have any dynamic gas zones on the server. If we had dynamic gas zones on the server, 
I think this would be changeable. Now, here, here's the thing. Let me, I'll, I'll leak a little bit of information in the admin corner here, and I'll, uh, I'll relate things to the past. One of the things the administration has been talking about is making some permanent gas zones in a few areas. Similar to like how Phoenix is done. Now, Phoenix, you have a little thing to interact with, but that's mandatory because in order to put the suit on in Phoenix, you need those, you know, 30 seconds to drop all you have and then, you know, grab your suit and go. But a great idea Frost had a year ago when we had the Frost Namalsk build was the top left and top right areas were gas zones because too many people at the start of the server would load up a bit on food, charge out, to one of the two ice sheet zones, grab some of the best shit they could, bring it back, and just, like, dominate everybody. So... Also, I I like my Discord in dark mode. I like uh, Google in dark mode, but I like Notepad++ in light mode because it helps the contrast of the colors better for me. So that's why it's in light mode for me. That's a personal preference. I'm sorry if you hate it. Um, we're debating adding some po potential random or permanent gas zones, but that is not going to be for a while. Now, once those gas zones are added, then I think the rate that filters have been spawning is okay. But as of right now, you only need filters to go to A3, Lantia... And Phoenix. And Phoenix is the only place where you need full NBC. Actually, I think you need full NBC in Lantia too. But A3, you only need a gas mask. So I'm going to half this. And even then, 20 is a lot. But it, they spawn everywhere. Under Tier 2 and Tier 3, which is everywhere. Phoenix is the oil rig, by the way. Um, I mean, hell. Phoenix, and then you click Land Sea Oil Rig. Yeah, fun fact. Things we're learning about today. Yeah, Ghost. Well, again, there's there's a lot we're all working on, and again, I think the House of Trash server it's really really cool, but it's still a lot to do. But that's why we've got you know weeks to months to work on it all. You know. So I, I think we're going to be great. Uh, I'm just doing my best to help chip in. But balancing-wise, everything needs to be adjusted, you know? Uh, Nine-volt batteries are fine. Duct tape is fine. Car batteries. I'm going to turn this down to five. And my reasoning for it is we do not have any vehicles on the server, so we don't need a lot of car batteries. You know what I mean? No point in having them. Plastic explosives... I'm going to bump that to four. Remote detonator, I'm also going to lower to four because I've been finding a bit too few of them. Minimum is two. Minimum, we're going to put two as well. But the eels, look, the eels are going to, this is just going to show that we need that. And VS Code has some nicer color for uh, contrast or dark mode. Thanks, Ghost Wolf. I, again, I'll look into it after this stream. Uh, unless I get pulled away by something else. Speaking of, let me... Check on that real quick. Okay. Uh, blowtorch, I think, is fine. Again, no one really uses the blowtorch, but that's fine. Large gas canisters, fine. Medium gas canisters, small gas canisters. Those are all fine, in my opinion. Matchbook's fine. The gas, uh, the lighter... Interesting. I'm going to be a dick. I'm going to be a dick. Now, here's why. Here's why. Matches in a normal server, matches, a full box of matches, are superior to a lighter. Because the lighter um, has less... Um, uses as a full unit compared to matches and matches you can always fill um refill with other match boxes but in hardcore namalsk the opposite reasons are needed um the, the opposite is true in terms of balancing which is why you can find more lighters by de in default arma or daisy excuse me than the match boxes 
the lighter um, can get damp and still light a fire. Matches, if they get damp, cannot light a fire. So in my opinion, lighter should be a little harder to find the matches. Now, if I really wanted to be an asshole, and I kind of do, I would set that to 10. But again, I'm being casual about this. So I'm half in that. So matches are a little easier to find, but... <laughs> Camo nets, okay. Fuck you. I don't have to explain why I'm having that. There are way too many. And you can only find them in tier three? Send in no. Goat no, 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 no. Hello, Lero. What are we doing tonight? 65 months and going strong, man. Killing Gal, thanks for the 65 months. Reese, my man. Ah, oh, you've been with me for a long time. I hope everything's okay with you. Thank you so much for all your support. We're editing a Daisy loot table under an XML file, but nonetheless, hope you keep enjoying the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of this little chill editing stream. Now, back to my rant. Don't get me wrong. Camo nets are great for two reasons. One, you can camo a tent with it, which is eh, because of how the base rulings are, but more importantly, you can turn it into a ghillie suit. So I know people really like that. Devour, maybe. A lot of stuff to work on. So I'm having that to 20. Road flares, 20. I appreciate that because, you know, it's an illumination equipment. Chem lights, 10 of each, and there's, like, multiple types. Totally fine with that. Hooks. I'm going to keep hooks the way they are because the two times I've really accidentally screwed myself in DayZ on the Namalsk build, both of them I saved myself with fishing. Um, so I'm keeping that as is. Netting is also really nice. Um, I'm going to turn it down slightly, though. Because I'm evil. Fishing rods, 12 is fine. Garden lime... I'm going to make a mental note about Garden Lime in my head because the only two things for Garden Lime is tanning stuff and uh, uh, gardening. But I don't think – I can't think of anyone that's actually done farming on this server yet. Oh, yeah, Slashy and making traps. I know you, Chucklehead. Medium tents can be found in any civilian area. Medium tent orange, that's a sub-variant. Wow, so at any given time, there are 12 medium tents on the server. There's more barrel... Well, no, how many barrels spawn? There's multiple barrel types. All right, so there's more barrels than that. Sea chest is fine. First aid kit, totally fine with that. Small protector case, I'm also fine with 15. Ammo box can spawn in any military or container position. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Frying pan's fine. Portable gas stove. I feel like I find them a little too often, but at the same time, they are, like a gas stove is really, really handy for snowstorm stuff, so I'm okay with that. Burlap sack. I'm going to turn that down to 20 and 15. Rope. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Metal wire. Alarm clocks. Kitchen timers, compasses are fine. GPS receiver, I mean, they're kind of pointless. They're good for looting, but they're kind of pointless. Yes, I do know the protective case can become an IED. Someone made one in my base and put it there, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's cute. Oh, there's no farming because there's no seeds. Interesting. I guess that makes sense since it's the dead of winter. So at that point, garden lime is, like, almost completely useless. But I've still seen people like Slushy Tan with it, so I'm going to keep it on. Uh, weapon cleaning kit. Yep. Sewing kit. Leather kit. Wet stones. Electronic repair kit. I think all of those numbers are fine based off of what uh, people have been finding. Handcuffs, as much as I hate Blackheart for it. Yeah. Personal radios are fine. Base radios... I'm going to turn that down in half. Those are the big backpack radios. No one no one uses those. No one uses those.
megaphone. I'm totally fine with that. Shovels, crowbars, wrenches. I'm going to turn wrenches down because you don't really need a wrench. Unless you guys can prove me wrong, but I... The wrench was used for unflipping vehicles. And that's not fine. Pipe wrench I'm not touching. Because pipe wrenches are needed for the plot. Pipe, broom, screwdriver, hack saws, hand saws. Those are all fine. Steak knives, kitchen knives, cleavers, sledgehammer. And then you got all your clothing. Which I think, again, the clothing is fine. But with all the weapon rebalance anyway, I think... I think that's all good. You know, Sheffy, I'm going to be honest with you. The pipe wrench isn't the linchpin in getting to Lantia. The linchpin is finding those three freaking filament canisters. <laughs> Oh my god, like some people, I hear one guy go, oh my gosh, I can only find these red ones. And then me, I can only find the blue and the orange ones, but I could never find a freaking red one. So I don't think, unless we really want to be mean and turn pipe wrenches down to like two, I don't see that there's a point in turning those down specifically, you know? So I, I think they're fine where they are, because it's also a melee weapon. It can also be an improvised melee weapon. But if we really wanted to be dicks, we could turn it down to like two. <laughs> but I don't think we want to be that mean. And especially with how much gear we're adding to the loot pool, one trip to Lantia isn't going to get people everything they want, you know? So they're going to have to do multiple trips before they can really start stacking things together. And that means groups are going to have to get together in order to time Lantia trips and whatnot. Otherwise, they're going to be stuck st uh, st chilling in A3 for a while. So that's just going to promote a lot more farming in, you know, PvP areas. And I think that'll be pretty, pretty nice. And then, you know, they'll take it out of Lantia only to get sniped by some chat with a Mosin. <laughs> Send in Goat Team 6 now. Hola, buenos dias, buen señor. I'm doing all right, Ivno. I hope you're doing okay, too. Thanks for the 17-month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. All right, here we go. NBC gear. For now, I think the NBC gear is fine. However, if we... Uh, whatchamacallit? If we make gas zones in the future... I'm going to turn those values up slightly. Only slightly, though. Because that's going to basically add a step. Because my, my end goal, or at least what I envision, is, you know, the main area, that's all fine. Getting up there, getting up there, getting up there, you need a suit. Um, and then there'll be, like, a random gas zone that occasionally hits somewhere, like, you know, A3 on the left or right side, uh, the Mohawk, uh, these military positions, or even the, um, whatchamacallit, those tier 4 spawn zones, you know? Up the rate of the Psy Storm. Actually, I don't know if you can do that. Uh, AWN I will be adding to A3 because I don't want that in um, Lantia. There's a few other weapons from TF that I'd want added first. But again, we'll be adjusting those later. Yeah, and then those are all pants. And then these are all the zombie class names. Here is the thing, though. The CS weapon bag. That is in Lantia. <laughs> That's staying in Lantia. That is a 200-slot weapon bag, and that is staying there. But I think everything else is fine where it is. We have a few additional tools down here as well. You got party tent stuff. Nailboxes, though. 27 on a minimum, though. 
I think nail spawn is com like commonly enough. Though that might change and I might lower them slightly considering how quickly people are able to band together and build mega bases. I might slash that by a factor of um a third. So we might take 20 and 17 instead. But also, you know, nails more commonly spawn in those airdrops as well and I do want to promote PVP. Okay, and then this, this is also something I'm turning down. Because no one, no one uses gas, right? Like, there's no reason to have gas other than, I think, generators, maybe. And then you have your bears. Your bears, baby. But yeah, I think everything else is clothing and backpacks and whatnot. And then these are all depreciated items. And yeah, no, that should that should all be good. You got your gillies and whatnot as well over here. And then you also have, you know, crafting items here as well. But again, those are crafted. Which I'm going to say are going to stay out of the loot pool to basically prevent the loot pool from being over blotted. But yeah, I think that's all good. So I'm going to go ahead and save that file. Uh, and that's going to be it. I might be on the DayZ server in an hour or two. But overall, that's fine. There's my 6 o'clock alarm, which means I have to go turn a light on somewhere. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, that's that for that stream. So I'm going to take an hour or two off, and then we'll be back on the DayZ server. So thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. And uh, hmm. you know what? I'm going to go put another bear in Vorkuta. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. See you in a bit.